Welcome to HairShop 1.0, the easy way to create hair. We launch HairShop 1.0 and in the selection setup screen we choose a photo of a hairstyle we want to emulate. Next we enter a name for the project and also select a project folder. In the next screen, the selection screen, we have a choice of male, female, or child model as well as buttons to view the manual, this video, or for info. So we selected a female model which appears on the work screen along with eight different hairstyles. There are also tabs on top to help with the workflow. We can pick one hairstyle, the ponytail. After aligning with the head, we can change the length of the hair, making it longer or shorter. But let's choose number 3 instead, as it more closely resembles the hair we want to emulate. After positioning the hair in the right place, we can also try the different lengths for this hair. This seems to be the right length, so we stop here. Time to move to the next work tab, the cut tab. Here we will cut a line for the hair. Using the straight line tool, we just cut in an angle as we see it on our template. Now, using the lasso tool, we gather the cutoff hair that we want to discard with a delete button. Now, as we have the basic shape of the hair, we can choose individual strands of hair either by clicking or by using the lasso tool. We select the first few strands on front that we want to fashion into longer bangs. Using the stretch tool, we draw a center line and stretch the bangs to the desired length. This is about the right length, so we stop. Using the lasso tool, we will now select all parts of the hair and save as new hair. This will place the shape into the parts library where we can access it later as needed. Still in the shape tab, we will use the shape tool to pull in the bottom of the hair to a more conforming shape. First, we pull the hair in from the side view. After we're finished, we repeat the same from the front. We rotate the head around a few times to make sure we got it just right. Now we are moving to the next work tab. Accessories. Here we select a pair of sunglasses for her and drag them into position. Accessories pulled into the work area are also placed into the parts library. Now, moving to the next tab, the color tab, we select the hair and choose a hair color. Also, using the color picker, we paint the sunglasses black and reduce their transparency from 256 to 200, making them semi-transparent. Lastly, we move to the Stage tab, where we can add a background, either from the selection or any other JPEG we import in the Stage library.
In addition, we can rotate the head, and by double-clicking on the smiley head and moving the slider, we can make the model smile at a job well done. Finally, we can export our creation as an OBJ file to be used in a 3D application that reads OBJ. Here we are in DAS Studio and import the hair. Following this, we also import the accessory, the sunglasses. Set the transparency for the glasses. Time to do a render in studio.